Hey, curious again. You know, I just want to clear up one little thing because I went a little negative with Variable Luther. And yes, this has been about Variable and a Variable Blast. You know, now known as Mr. Nigger. And my objection to Negarity. But in the last comments, I didn't mean to be negative, but my idea was originally wow what if he didn't get stuck on that and stuck with variable instead and that idea kind of excited me i mean it was like it was like oh this is a better thing and it really is whether he wants to choose it or not i think it would have been a better thing in life maybe it wouldn't be for him but I personally felt it would have been. But I'm going to resolve that my ideas of negarity, about negarity, in my conversations with David, Michigas, Superfans, whatever, and my feelings of individuality of being a variable, an individual, a varying person, unique, different, and special. And our conversations about individuality and race and what's right about being an individual and where you have a responsibility to society and where you don't, especially about the word nigger, that many, including myself, feel for one reason or another that he is abusing. And that is the central context of any objection, well, maybe not any objection, but many of the objections of this negarity is that it is not a, a redeemable word and it is not a um, thing that can be destigmatized and it is an abuse of African Americans on a word that is a pejorative and it just therefore, even though you're trying to destigmatize or nigger it, it is an abuse because it cannot be so. What you are trying to do cannot be, therefore, what you are doing is not. It is that simple. So, what you do is unattainable because it cannot be done so what you want to be done is therefore folly it is not a variable goal to be adhered to and that's why I think variable is better and that's why I will variable that instead and I'm going to be more positive about it and not argue and not give this guy a bad time because, hey, you know, I got no problems with him. I just have problems with the idea like most everyone else, except for a few people who just find it quiche or something. But yeah, it, it there is things that could be said about um, my personal view about race and things, you know. And I'll get into that into another time. But that's another topic to explore. Um, my past, my history, my view on culture and ethnicities and my place and the world and how I see it from certain perspectives and my ideas about government that don't exactly agree with him on the politically correct side. Because I'm a small government advocate. And for me... That doesn't mean I hate, but it means I have to avoid things that are hateful. And also, it's hard to use those kind of terms because those are seen as pejorative terms. 
of a nanny state, which I don't agree with. It's all to do with positive and negative rights, if you want to look that up. And I think that's very important. Very important. And it's also important to understand that I am not an authoritarianist. I do not believe in authoritarianism, but socially, I'm libertarian. In other words, I'm if for independence as an individualist and therefore at least socially or culturally I see uh, big government as a problem or regulations see and a lot of regulations are what people call civil liberties about race gender and sexuality which is I consider an extension of the true subject uh, I mean orientation which I consider a true extension of the subject of sexuality because there's a lot I agree with on um, subjects of sexuality that are progressive even though you could call it, I call myself a social conservative um, the libertarian aspect has progressive elements in it because <clears throat> certain sexuality is considered progressive like um, free sex and ideas that aren't culturally uh, I mean socially conservative because they're authoritarian you see like um, free sex uh, people choosing to do what they would choose to do um, by default somewhat supportive of prostitution homosexuality and in other ways um, not supportive of things like feminism per se although that falls on both sides of the line so that's what I'm going to explore now as a variable. I've talked about it in social deregulation, and now I'm going to talk about it in variableness. Invariably. Because I think it's a fun pun. And I'll be hitting a lot on race, too. Because if I'm going to be accused of being racial, a racialist, or racist, I want to get that quite clear, too. Maybe on some things I am, but I have an ideology, and that's minimal government on cultural conservatism. And I'm not really shy about that, but I always don't agree with conservatism either, because sometimes it falls into collectivism, which is just a form of racism, and other times it falls into authoritarianism, which any social regulation I mean um, social engineering that falls to the right I am also against as much as I personally like those some of those ideas I can't agree with them you know like uh, English only uh, um, things like well now I run into problems with things like papers uh, for immigrants because that um, conflicts with um, my ideas about border control and being a domestic side person you know a nativist but that's there and there anyway variable is going to be positive and it isn't always going to be about freaking um, Michigas anymore or Mr. N or David or whatever he's calling himself this week okay I just want to clear that up a little bit and show where I'm coming from from now on you know and I'm going to stop this is going to be the last video I'm going to do for uh, variable for a little bit I'm going to hit a miss on that again and, you know I just wanted to freaking end it in a clearer note I hope that was clearer to anyone out there <laughs> See you guys.